Hello people, this is Fortis Splish Splash. Welcome to a new video when it comes to learning how to use OBS Studio in order to either record but mainly for live streaming. Today we're gonna learn some advanced features you might say if you're new to OBS Studio, such as adding a picture behind you for your first startup kind of chat room you might say, adding some text which will look nice to stream and also some other stuff, including also when you're recording with OBS Studio, how to split that audio. So back into OBS Studio and as you see guys, uh, this is the setup I have for my live stream. Quite simple, I just had for now two scenes and that we're going to learn today. We're also going to take a look into how to add a picture behind you of your choice and of course also add some cool text to your live stream. Uh, that's the first thing we're going to cover, we're going to get into the audio part I mentioned in the intro later. Uh, and again, if you haven't checked out the tutorial I did when it comes to the basic setup, I think you should do so because otherwise you will not be able to actually get what I'm saying here when it comes to adding these features. So we're adding a new scene and uh, we're going to call it chat room. This is going to be like the beginning when you're starting off your live stream where people are, you know, chilling, gathering and you maybe want to talk about what you're about to play or how the week has been. Then we're going to add uh, an image and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to write background, background 2, since I already have an existing one, as you can see here. But since I'm doing this tutorial, I'm adding a new one. It's going to look like this, okay? Empty, black, gray, whatever have you. Browse, and you can, you know, choose a picture that you would like to have. It can be your living room, it can be somewhere in space i don't know it's your choice i'm choosing from a game called survive the dc Elix that i've been playing a vr game uh to get like a you know space uh, kind of background then you also have to add the face cam again stuff like that that you need to be also in the chat room uh, i already have an existing one i'm gonna use that i already shown you guys how to add a face cam that i did in my first video and of course you have to you know make it look good, uh, have the right size. I usually tend to have my face cam a bit bigger when it comes to this first uh, kind of chat room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it kind of looks good, you know, you're more into the faces of the audience. And uh, of course, then we're going to add the text. Now we're adding the text here. Also, I have a preset, but I'm going to call it something else because uh, otherwise you guys might get confused. So we're going to choose text too. And after we're done that, we're just going to press OK. And as you can see now, you have the kind of choices to choose the font. Now, this is just a question of taste. So it's up to you, also depending what you have already. I'm going to choose something called Big John for the purpose of the video. And then you just press OK. And then you can start to, to type the kind of things you want to say in the stream. Uh, this is for the chat room. So again, I would write something like Welcome to the live stream. Maybe you want to press spacebar in order to separate the text a bit, which I think is a good thing to do. Again, it's really up to you what you want to write. I try to be as welcoming as I can. Again, this is the beginning. This is the first thing that the viewers will see when they get into your live stream. So remember that. And of course, after you have been adding the text, you can also fix it a bit by choosing colors. And it's very easy, as you can see, for the purpose of the video. Again, I think I've said that like three times now. I'm just going to go with yellow. Actually, I think I'm going to be a bit tacky. So I'm going to choose yellow. And when it comes to my second color, it's going to be red. Oh my god, look at that fire flame kind of text. Okay, dope. Pressing OK. And as you also see, you can choose... Um, other choices for the text if you want to use outline or something like that. Then I'm going to try to fit it into the screen like this. And now we're going to make it scroll. So we're going to add filters on the text. Okay. And uh, you just press the plus sign as here. And you will get the choices as we want. And we're going to choose scroll. So press scroll and just press OK if you don't want to name it something else. As you can see, you have choices if you want to go up or if you want to go down with the text, depending on how it's going to scroll, vertical or horizontal. And for now, we're going to go like this, just showing how it looks when it goes the other way, even though that doesn't make sense for my kind of text that I've just created. So I'm going to go back to zero, 
to make it more readable for this video. Okay, now, when that is done, I kind of want to suggest you to keep uh, something between maybe 50 or 70. I mean, of course, this is up to you, but as you can see, the kind of pace that the text now is scrolling is quite good. Then press done or OK, and it should look something like this. You can now switch between two scenes having the gameplay. Oh yes, it's called tutorial right here, but never mind. Right gameplay, whatever have you, and the chat room, which is good. You can start off your live stream being in the chat room, then switch over to the gameplay and play the game. So we're now getting to the question when it comes to actually recording different files, paths, when it's come to the audio. And this can be a tricky one. You have to go into output and check advanced in order to get these options and go into recording. Under the recording tab, you will find the recording path. You have to choose where you want to save the gameplay, uh, the audio, you might say. And you have to choose MP4 in order to also uh, uh, tick these boxes when it comes to different audio tracks. So you're going to pick one and two if you only have two sources that you want to separate, separate in the audio. Uh, you don't have to mind so much here. I have actually the same bit rate as I have when it comes to the actual streaming. So we're going to apply and later on we're going to go into something called the mixer. But before I just want to show something very important. This is audio tab and this is where you put in the extra uh, audio uh, sources, the inputs. I don't use this because I mainly just stream. I don't record so much with OBS. But here is something very important. So if you actually have the second audio input source, that's where you put it. Because I only have, as you see, my Yeti stereo microphone. That's my only sort of input. But again, uh, when you get back here in the mixer, you press the cogwheel and you can definitely see usually every of these boxes are ticked, right? So this is where you will start. I'm just going to put it to default, you might say. Uh, you have the options getting like six tracks, actually. Six tracks is quite a lot. I think you will manage with those. But for this video, again, I'm just going to unclick. And again, you have to know which channel is what. So for example, is if you have your microphone on number one, you, you take one. And if you have your gameplay audio, the gameplay source, so to speak, you take two. But that has to come from a separate source as I told you guys I hope you get what I'm saying that's why I'm also going back to audio again to show this uh, again I don't use that so in that sense it's a bit of a bad example but I at least wanted to tell you the kind of basics uh, the understanding of how to actually get uh, a recording where you can split your commentary from your gameplay there are other things that you can do as well. I'm not going into here using separate mixers and stuff like that. Uh, usually what I do is just, I just check the volume of the gameplay and my commentary, do a test recording. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay guys, that was it for today. I hope you learned something and if you have some additional questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section and I will do the best to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. Roger and out.